There are billions of beating hearts And the numbers you'd never count Cause to you they are insignificant little lights Oh, hello there, you must be here For the Steinsgate full review Well, what are we waiting for? Let the intro commence <laughs> Hello medis, it's me Zulik here and we are finally here with the Steinsgate full review. Now, just to kind of explain a little bit before we get into it. Um, I'm not the best with full-on discussions. Uh, when I mean full-on discussions, I mean review. I'm not good at reviewing films, TV shows in great detail. So I want to just clarify that in case if I, if I like don't say anything that you want to know or want me to point out or whatever, um, I apologise. I'm not the best at that kind of thing. So, if you want to go to, uh, go somewhere where you want to, I don't know, I guess, want a full summary of Steinsgate, this is not really the best place to go for that. Uh, I'll link in the description where a good video, uh, would be, well, for the best for you, I guess. <laughs> um, it's, I just actually searched it up, I need to, um... What's it called? Seawee. Uh, it's a it's a video by Seawee uh, in summary of Steinsgate. I will link in the description of that video. Uh, if you are looking for a summary of Steinsgate, obviously this is not... Obviously by the title, title on the thumbnail, you'll obviously know it's, it's not a summary. It's a full review of the series. I don't know why I needed to say that, but... Um, I, just in case if you're someone that just appeared and just like, oh, is this a summary video? No, it's not a summary video. It's a full review. So... <laughs> Um, yeah, I wanted to get that out of the way. Um, anyway, welcome to the full review of Steinsgate. Um, if you didn't know, uh, earlier on the channel, or I say earlier on the channel, like way, way back, obviously, I mean like, <laughs> like a couple months ago, maybe? Maybe not even now, I might be wrong. I might have been like, yeah, I don't know. It feels, feels quite a long time, but it's probably not that long. I'm probably just, yeah. So, uh, the last time I'll actually check when I made my last, or the final video of reacting, or sorry, my initial reaction to Steinsgate. Yes, so I've made a playlist of videos that I made um, doing initial reactions each after each episode of Steinsgate. So uh, the last one I did was a month ago, and that was like early July, I believe. Yeah, 4th of July, Independence Day. Um, and then the first one I made was in, was three months ago, which, yeah, I guess, makes sense, I guess, it feels like that way. It feels longer than that for me, but when you think about it, you're like, yeah, it just makes sense. So anyway, I'm going to stop ranting. Um, so yeah, I made, uh, that's another thing I'll link in the, descript in the description below, is uh, the playlist of me reacting to each episode. Well, not each episode, sorry. I watch the video, uh, the video, <laughs> I watch each episode myself, and then after each episode, I give you my thoughts on it. Maybe what I liked and what I didn't like, I guess. But this video, this video 
the four of you is kind of me bringing it all together and sharing what I think of it, uh, discussing the characters and that, and I'll just explain just now how this video is going to roll out, I guess. So there are going to be six main sections uh, in this video, which I'm going to be timestamping. Uh, you're welcome. Um, so the first thing I'm going to be talking about in this video, uh, how did I get into the series? Uh, second thing, uh, what did I like? Uh, third thing is what I disliked. Uh, the fourth thing, discuss the characters. Uh, the fifth section, rank the main characters. And then the sixth one and final one, my overall thoughts. And basically me, basically me answering the question you'll probably be asking, should I watch this and is it for me? Um, or for you, should I say, but I'm um, just as a perspective. <laughs> so yeah, let's get into the first section, of course, because we don't want to waste any more time. So, how did I get into the series? Well, you may know uh, my good friend Rusty, he's been in a few of my videos, uh, well, movie, movie reviews that I've done. Uh, the first one I did with him was the Uncharted one, I did like a brief, uh, we did like a brief initial reaction after watching the film. And uh, he gave his initial impressions, then obviously I did my spoiler review afterwards. Uh, then uh, he also did uh, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness review with me. Um, the one with Fun Man 21 in it. And he also did... He did Bullet Train, which is the most recent one. And he also did Thor Love and Thunder with uh, Blitzo, who he may know referred to as a robot madness but that's what he's called now anyway so uh he's been in a few basically rusty has been in a few re 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 in here a few movie reviews with me uh and he's the one that got me into the series so let me get into a little bit of a backstory so i've never really been that much into anime the only anime that i was really particularly interested in was uh studio studio ghibli uh obviously that's the company that you may know of making uh my Neighbor Totoro, Spirited Away, House Moving Castle. Oh, God, I love that film. <laughs> um, Ponyo, uh, Arietti, one of my favourites. I love Arietti. Arietti, sorry. Um, yeah, all those amazing films. They're just so good. Storytelling is just on point um, for the most part. Um, I've not watched all their films, but anyway. So, Studio Ghibli was really the only... Um, anime come or the only anime that I really was into so um so yeah like I said like two three months ago I just I was just like you know what I'm gonna give it a chance so I asked the best person I could think of that could kind of get me into the anime world uh well yeah um so I asked Rusty and he just simply gave me Steins Gate um he said it's a he said it was a f kind of a science fiction time traveling series. I was like, ooh, interesting, because I like Doctor Who. Uh, well, when I say like Doctor Who, I've I've only really watched Matt Smith's episodes. I love Matt Smith; he's my favorite Doctor personally. Uh, if you like any other any other Doctor, that's cool. I respect your opinion. Um, but yeah, um, I like Doctor Who. I was like, okay, cool. Um, so yeah, I was just like, okay, cool. I'll take it home. And he asked, could you react to it, like, could you obviously do a review like this, obviously a full review, but could you also do, like, a reaction to uh, each episode? I was like, okay, I'll see what I can do. Obviously, I did it, as you see. Uh, once again, I'll leave the uh, video playlist in the description below. Me, obviously, give him my impressions of each episode. Yeah, I did those uh, initial reactions to each episode. And now I'm here doing the full review, like, two months later, so... Uh, at least I'm here. I'm better, better late than ever, so... Uh, I actually rewatched it for a second time. Uh, I actually finished watching the last few episodes yesterday. Uh, and it's just so weird. Like, when you go back... Oh, wait, I need to just calm down. I need I need to obviously go through each section, each section but... Um, I can't remember what he just said what, how I got into the series. So, Rusty got me into the series... Um, and I explained my history with anime and shit, so, yeah, that's then, that's done, so, uh, to end off this section, I'm just going to talk about, um, uh, I don't know, <laughs> I just kind of lost myself there for a second, yeah, uh, crap, um, so yeah, he gave, he gave me the box set, and I was like, damn, this is a big ass box set, Jesus Christ, so I opened it, and there's only like four discs, I thought that was going to be like, Maybe six. 
Uh, but it's not too bad. So obviously on each on each disc, I don't know why I'm reviewing like doing a, like a box set review, but um, so obviously on the first disc here uh, with one to eight episodes is of course um, Carissu. Uh, I always used to call her Christina because that was the easiest way. That was the English name. Obviously at the start I was I was very I mean still now I wasn't very familiar with obviously anime names and I wasn't very good at remembering them. So I was like okay I'll just. I'll just remember them by their nicknames or whatever's easiest for me. So, uh, for me it was Christina, but now I'm getting to their names. Obviously, um, Carissu. Uh, and then you got Suzaha, my bae. Uh, then you got on the right side with the two other discs, the last two discs, sorry. Uh, you got Ferris at the top here. There you go. And then you got, uh, sorry, it's a bit weird because it's like, ugh. Um, then you got, of course, Rukako. Or just Ruka. Or on the fandom page, it's Luca. Now, <laughs> now, hold on. So, obviously, before I recorded this, I wanted to obviously look through the fandom page and just have a look. And it's called, uh, he is called Luca. It's not Luca, it's Ruka or Rukako. Uh, that, that's what I thought uh, to begin with, because obviously, she, obviously, he was called uh, Ruka in the series. But then I was like, oh, I forgot the name. I need to remember the name. So I looked on Google. It said Luca. I was like, okay, I'll call it Luca. And Rusty got all funny with me, saying, no, it's Ruka, Ruka Co. I'm like, okay. Like, I, I I read it off the fandom page, okay? <laughs> um, so Ruka Co. I'm just going to refer it as Ruka Co. Ruka or Ruka Co. Because I'll get my head chopped off by Rusty. Um, but anyway, so yeah, those are the four discs in the box. I don't know why I need to show that, but why not? So, just explained how I got into the series. That's section one off. I may have missed something, so if Rusty says something that I've forgotten to mention, that you've told me or whatever, I apologise. But anyway, so section number two. What I liked. So, what I liked. Um, so, one of the main things that I love, that, that, that is the most important to me personally, in any film or any TV series, is relationships, chemistry, the relationships. The story I know is really important. Um, obviously, you need to have a good story to have a good film and a good show, whatever. But to me personally, relationships and chemistry is the biggest thing for me personally. And this does it. I love this. I love these characters. Well, most of the characters. Um, yeah, there's like one in particular character that I still don't like, even at the end. Because they seem nice and that, but yeah. But uh, I'll get to that, obviously, in the ranking section, obviously. But uh, yeah, most of the characters are lovable. Um, or enjoyable, at least entertaining. Um, and yeah, uh, they do have their moments where they're like a bit... Eh, but most, for the most part, most of them are likeable, lovable, entertaining. Um... So, yeah, that's one of the things I like, is the characters. Uh, I think the story is great. Uh, obviously, I, 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 I've I done a review, because I have a I have an account on Instagram. Uh, not my Zulik Panther, my, obviously, my YouTube account, uh, Instagram account. I have another account that I've reviewed, actually, last night, um, saying that I still find some of the time-travelling stuff a little bit confusing, but that might just be my autism and my uh, dyslexia, because I have dyslexia, sorry. Because that's that's what I have, so I'm not, I don't want to have that as like a as a um, an excuse, but that probably is the case. But it's just mem remembering it, and it's just ugh, memory is just a bit ugh, all over the place for me, at least at the moment. Um, but yeah, the time traveling stuff for me is a little bit complicated. Like there's the, for the second, however, for the second time watching, um, I, I had I had noticed a few things that I hadn't seen before, uh, like. I may as well mention it now in case I forget later. Um, the bit obviously at the end, obviously when at the start with the comp, the the meeting that uh, Carissi's father is, you know, the professor does that meeting in the in the the building. Um, obviously, uh, Carissi drags Okabe out, saying that I, I we had a conversation like five minutes earlier, and obviously you expect it to be like what? <laughs> and then obviously at the end you see that. Um, Obviously, that that is the, the five minutes. Is obviously when 
he tries to save her life, and obviously he, he gets all splurging, like, oh shit, it, I can't believe it, it's, it's Carissa, oh my god, it's, this is too much, you know. That, obviously they have a conversation, and he obviously runs away and says, hey, you, at least you could obviously finish your sentence, or whatever. That's obviously when, obviously, at the start of the series, obviously says, obviously when he she drags him out, like, if you know what I mean, you know what I mean. Obviously, that that's what one thing I noticed for some reason for the second time watching. Don't know why I didn't notice it when I first watched it, but... I know now, so that's the thing, so, um, sorry if that was a bit random, if you know what I mean, what I meant by that, then cool, um, yeah, so, some of the story, that the, the time travelling stuff is a bit shaky, like, there's probably stuff that I still need to ask Rusty and stuff, and also, obviously, maybe research as well, other than just asking him, but, uh, that's out of the way, story is good, characters I really like, most of them are likeable and enjoyable and that, uh, what else did I like, um, I know, I, I like it, obviously it's in Japan, I know, obviously it's a, it was originally a Japanese program, a uh, Japanese TV, so, yeah. it was originally, edit, it's in Japan, it's, I know that obviously this series is in Japan, um, I think, is it, a, I think it is a real place, it's based in a real town, I'm not sure, unless it's made up, I need to research, I should research this shit <laughs> before I started recording, um, like, I like the town, uh, the place is obviously, like, after watching the show, I want to go to the lab. Like, I want to see them all, which is so cool. Um, but yeah, I, li- I like the setting. Obviously, because this is obviously based in Japan. Obviously, it was originally voiced by Japanese actors. And then, obviously, because for English people, obviously, they want to obviously do put English voice actors in there. So, yeah. It was originally, obviously, intended for Japanese audience. From Japanese people to watch, so obviously that was in a Japanese language, and obviously, yeah, so, um, yeah, I'm out of breath now, um, yeah, I like the atmosphere, so yeah, let's, let's just quickly list what I like, so, characters I really like, for the most part, um, story, I just wish, I'm not sure if it's just me, the time travelling stuff is a bit, ugh, for me, I wish it was a little bit simpler, but that might just be me being a bit, a bit ugh, uh, so yeah, character story is good. Um, the atmosphere, I like the set. Is the, the setting not the atmosphere? <laughs> There's the settings. Uh, I thought it was really good. So those three main things that I really like about the series are probably like a few bits and bobs that I've forgotten that I like. But those are the three main things I like about the series. Dislike is kind of what I said about the time traveling things. Is like it's a bit too t- complicated. I guess that's really the only dislike that I that I would say about this series. Like it's it's. For me, it's just a bit complicated. I just want it to be a little bit simpler. But that's just probably my brain not functioning, you know, in that kind of way. Like, because... Obviously, I know that everyone can't notice everything first time watching them. We have to watch it multiple times to notice it or realise, like, oh, that's that. Um, but, yeah. I struggled with the... Um, yeah, I struggled with the time travelling stuff. Well, some of the stuff. Like, second time watching, as I just said earlier, I had noticed a, few, a couple of things that um, that I hadn't noticed in my first viewing of watching it. So, uh, yeah, I think that's really all my dislikes, really. Well, well my only dislikes, should I say. Um, I might come back later and if I'm like, oh, yeah, that, I've forgotten. So, yeah, for now, the only dislike I'd, that I would have to say is that the time travelling stuff is a little bit complicated. But obviously... As I've already said, like, twice now. It might just be me. I don't know. But anyway. Alright. Category number four. Or section number four, should I say. Uh, discuss the characters. Um, I feel like I should just get into ranking and then also talk about the characters as well as when I do that. So I can get into detail with the characters when I rank them. You know what? Should I do that? I think that's, that's probably the... Because... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> now I'm thinking about it, maybe. I was thinking just doing a ranking and then obviously discuss the characters when I do that ranking for each. So obviously when I obviously go from my least favourite to my favourite character, or in those characters I can obviously explain who they, well I guess what they are, who they are and their traits and shit, but I don't know, I might just, if I were to just discuss the characters I might just briefly talk about them and then obviously do my ranking afterwards, I don't know. But um, let's start with the... I could be the main character. The main star of the series is Okabe. 
or Hain Kiyoma, if I pronounce that right. I apologise, Rusty, if I pronounce that wrong, but that's how I pronounced it, so. Um, Okabe, or Okarine. Okarine! <laughs> I don't know how, th- how that impression was, but... Um, do-do-do! <laughs> um, so yeah, Okarine, or Okabe, or Hain Kiyoma, wherever you want to call them, or however you call them. Um... He is arguably, he has the biggest character development of all the characters. In my opinion, the way I see it, I think he has definitely has the biggest character development. From being a complete crazy fucking scientist, apologies for the language, but I just, I don't know, it just came out of nowhere. So, from being a crazy ass scientist, almost all the time, also he had his moments, like with Mayuri, as always, like being a little bit, ugh, like, he's always, like, he always been kind of acts like a brother. To my eerie. It's just, it's just so sweet. Anyway, so yeah, from being mostly a crazy scientist till the end of the series where he's he's just outgrown from being obviously that mad scientist he was. He's just, he's a lot more, I don't want to say gentle, he's just more, he's just less cray cray, should I say. It's just, it's hard to explain a character's development, like, especially as it's, as, as this one in, to me is, so, it was so progressive, <laughs> but it's, it, it it is it. That, I mean, if you've watched this series, then you know obviously that Okabe is arguably the most he ha, has the most biggest char- character development in the series. Um, yeah, I like Okabe. Like in the end, like he he's he is up there. He's definitely up in there in that ranking. Spoiler, obviously, but. Um, he went from kind of down there to a lot higher up. Like, like it's is he? He's outgrown me um, over the series. Like, over watching it. Like, he's just uh, he's he's uh, he he is funny. Obviously, when he's crazy, sometimes. But sometimes I can be. I, I'm just like, like you're being a, you're being a bit too much, man. Like, <laughs> like with Carissa. Like Carissa, obviously, it's him and her obviously have a kind of a love hate relationship. Like sometimes they get along. And then, but for the most part, they argue a lot. It's just, obviously, gets a bit mixing, obviously. Like, early on, he's just, like, especially with that massive, obviously, like, that massive bit, obviously, when they're playing that board game. I've forgotten what it's called. I don't know if they even explain what it's called, but that game that they played with the cards and that. Um, obviously, he had that massive tantrum because... Uh, <laughs> Oh, I need to catch my breath. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, because, obviously, Carissa obviously didn't call him by Hain Kiyoma or whoever, or whatever, but I've forgotten what he wants to be called. And she obviously got upset, and she was like, are you crying? Like, it's just like, look what you've done, man. Like, you've made a woman cry. Like, just, look what you've done. <laughs> like, just calm down. Like, it's just a name. Just get over it. <laughs> um, But, yeah, like, I just felt like early on in the episodes, obviously he was a bit much. He he was a bit he was quite aggressive, but now he's kind of gone past that. And hopefully in Steins Gate Zero, when I watch that, he will be a, a bit more calm. Obviously, you want to you want him to still be obviously have that little obviously that mad scientist feel to him because otherwise that's just kind of lost his character. But but being mad all the time and being really aggressive that's just that's just not cool like in my opinion anyway like i just think it's for a main star like it's just eh. so moving aside to okabe um we're gonna head to mayuri mayuri is just she's so sweet (laughs) oh green (laughs) she's so cool like after the second viewing like she's gone up higher on my list like she is she is, she is the heart and soul of this series, like, honestly, like, I mean, I think a lot of people can agree that she is the heart and soul of this series, like, she, she never wants anyone fighting, like, don't fight, please, <laughs> like, she's, like, like, I, like I said at the start, like, I'm not very descriptive on, like, cat, like on different things, like, if I go ahead on stuff, then I apologise, so, but yeah, my eerie, my my hero really is the heart and soul of the series. Like she's so, she's energetic, but she also has a has her sensitive side of her as well. Obviously, like she doesn't want Okabe to give up. Like what well, obviously when 
he didn't want to save Carissi like at the end. I know I'm going a bit far, like I've just said, like I go all over the place, so I apologize. But for example, like obviously her slapping um Okabe or Okarine, um and when he's like, Oh, I give up, like I don't want to go back to Carissi obviously when he died, obviously when they went back when he went back to try and save uh Carissi for the t- in the t- that timeline. Uh, obviously he he came back and he was in like shock. He was like, oh god, like, oh, I'm responsible for her death. I'm responsible for her death. And obviously, Susan has like, get a hold of yourself. I know you're in shock, but you need to get a hold of yourself. And then obviously he's like, no, I'm not going again. I'm not going again. He gets up. I know obviously there's more context to that, but it obviously Miami fucking slaps the shit out of him. Everyone just like has that reaction. Uh, and then if she said, remember when Grandma? No, no, no. That's terrible, but. Obviously, she obviously tells him the stuff, saying, like, obviously persuading him to go back and get Carissu, like, I know that you have this great relationship with Carissu. I don't know why I'm doing this impression when I'm saying this, but, like, like, she, 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 she knows, she knows it, like, honestly. <laughs> I'm not being very descriptive, and I apologise, but I just, I love my Yuri. I love my Yuri. Um, she's just, yeah, as I've said, she's the heart the heart and soul of the series like <sighs> no one gets better as Mayuri when it comes to positivity like she's barely you see her in like a neg like obviously you see her sad in those moments obviously with her grandma obviously like she, she reaches out and stuff to the sky and that or to the sun sorry um like with the graveyard gra- the graveyard sorry let me pronounce that right um yeah that's just I'm probably going to get more into the characters when I rank them, but I'm just doing giving like a little bit of an overview of the characters. It's not really discussion, really. It's just an overview of each character and if I like them or not in that. So, um, the next one, I guess we'll go to Itaru Hashida, aka Daru, also known as Hack, as I first called him, and then I got obviously used to Daru because that's not really, that's not really a hard name to pronounce, is it? So, or to remember. Sorry, it's not really a, Daru isn't really a hard name to pronounce or remember. So. Yeah, um, it went from hack to quickly to Daru, because, yeah, it was easier to say and pronounce, um, and to remember. Um, yeah, he's cool. Obviously, he has his, uh, pervy side with his jokes. Uh, he is cool. He has a, a computer whiz to him. He's a complete nerd. He's a hacker, obviously. That's his trait. One of his traits, anyway. That's his main trait. <laughs> um, he's cool. Um... Yeah, what else to say about him? Like, obviously, there 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 are moments. Obviously, I I have a pervy. Well, not a pervy. So obviously, I I obviously oh, I don't want to say pervy because that just sounds weird. But yeah, I get. I guess I'll say I have a pervy side to me. But I'm also kind of responsible and sensible in a way. Obviously, but yeah, sometimes obviously when Daru has his um pervy side to him, obviously some of the jokes are a bit like. He goes a bit far ahead of it, and it's just like, yeah. But there are some that I do laugh at, like um, uh, obviously when um, the, the obviously when Mayuri obviously explains to everyone saying, "I know who Sue's Hall's dad is. It's Daru." <laughs> like saying that, and obviously then be like, "Oh, I guess you're 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 my dad." Obviously, it's, obviously then obviously Sue's Hall's like, "So you're my dad then," and obviously. And obviously Dari's like, um, I guess so. I guess you have to call me Big Daddy from now on. <laughs> and I was just like, <laughs> <laughs> that was like one of the funniest, and obviously the one of the most funniest parts of Dari. That's like, it's just, it honestly made me laugh out loud. It was just, <laughs> I don't know why it made me laugh so much, but it's just like, I guess you have to call me Big Daddy from now on. It's just like, <laughs> fuck's sake, Dari. Um, but yeah, Dari, I know there's not really much to say about Dari, but he's not, in it as much as I thought, because in early on in the episodes he was quite often in it, but then he kind of drifted away. Um, especially with obviously the obviously the connections with uh Oak Bay and uh, Chris, uh, Christina <laughs> with Carissu. Um yeah, with Makise Carissu, there we go, Car- Makise. Um obviously Oak Bay and uh Carissu have obviously built up that relationship and then in one episode like it's only those two that really have... Oh, God, I'm going everywhere. I need to calm down and just focus on one thing and then go to the other thing. So, apologies. Um, yeah, there's not really too much else to say about Daru. He's just... 
It's just cool. Like, obviously, there are moments, obviously, where he's... He takes it a bit too far with his pervy, pervy jokes and stuff. But he also has his heartful moments, obviously. But, yeah. Uh, Dara is a good character. Uh, next up, Luca. Not Luca. It's Ruka. Rukako. Um, she's really cool. He is really cool, should I say. Sorry. He, she, it, 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 he is a she in the one of the timelines, obviously. But, um, Rukako. I'll put Luca there because that was on the fandom, as I already said earlier. But, um, Ruka, Rukako, um, yeah. Ruka, he is sensitive. He's a very sensitive man. Like, even when Okabe, like, yells in his face, he gets real sense of emotional and he, he starts tearing up and stuff like that. That's just, that's just, whoa. Like, I like, I like Ruka. I think he's cool. Or she, whenever you want to see, yeah. Um, I do like Ruka. He is cool. Uh, I myself also have a sensitive side like he does. Uh, not, not to the, to that degree where obviously when someone shouts in your face I start crying. Or at least in that kind of, or at least in that degree. Like, I don't, I mean, yeah, I, th- I guess everyone has that kind of side where whenever you start shouting in someone's face you kind of, or your water, your waterworks always start cracking. And, you know, it's just, I don't, I don't cry to that degree, but. Yeah, I I totally get why Ruka obviously cries that often and that, but yeah. That was random, I apologise what I just said, but um... I do like Ruka. All I, right, I'm just going to be saying if I like this character or if I dislike this character on that, so... I'm going to mostly probably discuss more when I rank the characters, so... I like Okabe. I like Mayuri. I like Ruka. And I like Daru. Next... Makise Karisu, or Karisu Makise, however, which way you want to say it, or whichever name you want to say. Or Christina, or Assistant, or Zombie. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't like the, 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 the nickname Zombie, that's just the... Uh, assistant can be funny at times, but some, um, other times just like, ugh, just shut up. Okabe, just stop. Um, yeah, uh, Makise Karisu, or Karisu Makise, or as I used to call her, Karisu... Early on, earlier on, when I first watched it, um, when you first meet her, obviously we understand. Obviously, when Okabe's, and I'm going a bit too far on, but obviously when you first meet her, um, she seems she seems kind of cool. But obviously, when obviously when Okabe's in shock after obviously she dies in that closet, when yeah, the clo- I mean the closet it's a it's that it's that it's that room in the building. Um, obviously when he's in a shock and starts, I think it's a bit far off, like, touching her up and stuff, that's just a bit weird. Obviously when she starts talking to her, it's like, hey, look, get off me, you perv, and that, and we'll say, yeah, I get that, yeah. Um, but one thing I, I mean, everyone has their own personality, I guess, but obviously when Daru has that, has some of those pervy jokes that I do laugh at, she does go, shut up, you perv, enough of that, Daru, or whatever, it's just like, just, just get used to it, man, like, I mean, yes, it's, Dirty or whatever, and you're a virgin. <laughs> but yeah, just, 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 just get used to it. I mean, come on, Karisu. But yeah, um, in the end, I do like Karisu. She, she is very tough. <laughs> Let's just get that out of the way. She is tough, and she's, you know, she, you know, she thinks she's something special. She knows she's smart and that. But I do like Karisu. It's just a bit of that bit of her that I just find a little bit like. Is irritating the right word? I don't know, like... Obviously with the pervy jokes that Daru makes in front of her, or to her, um... Obviously she gets she gets red in the face, obviously she gets all pink, and obviously she says, oh, shut up, and you know that. I mean, the same with Okabe, but not not to the same degree, obviously, but yeah. Karisu is another good character. I like Karisu. Uh, Makise Karisu, sorry. Uh, next... Ferris or Faris. It's it's F A R I S, not F E R I S. Um, I say Ferris because that's how they pronounce her. Ferris nine 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 like nine cat. Don't know why. I know she goes meow meow a lot, and she dresses up as a fucking cat, and she does all those noises a lot. But okay, if that's her last name, then cool. Uh, Ferris, Ferris is. Um, 
<sighs> she's not the worst character. Um, but, I don't know. It's just... <sighs> Obviously in that episode where... Um, where Okabe obviously talks to her, because obviously she gets her dad back after sending that email that um, Okabe ends up letting her send. Um, it's just, it's sad, obviously seeing her dad, because her dad seemed really cool, and, you know, obviously seeing her, this, connected with her dad, uh, and obviously calling her daddy and that, I guess, like, because they have a really good, they seem to have really, like, a really good chemistry, but obviously he died in a plane crash, obviously, um, I hope I'm right saying that, I'm pretty sure he, yeah, he did die in a plane crash, I think he was, yeah, it was after, he felt bad, because obviously, she, I think she was doing something, and she, he, he, she wanted him to come back over, but he was too more bothered about his work than her, uh, well, he, she was one that he he loved his work more than her, so he felt bad and took a plane back. But on the way back, there was a crash and he died, and obviously she's obviously upset about it. And obviously seeing her dad, her and her dad connect, that was that was something special. Um, I mean, yes, Ferris can be a little bit irritating for me, like with her like meowing and that. Um, what what she what she oh she's. <laughs> I think she says that, doesn't she? Like, whenever she sees him, and then it's just like, oh shit, oh god, it's Ferris. Kiyama! Like, yeah. Um, Ferris, overall, she's a an okay character. She's not my least favourite, but, um, she's not one of my top favourites, but, like, she is, she is likeable enough. Um, but yeah. <laughs> That's not very much, very much to say about Ferris is there, but yeah. Um, I think this is the last one. No, there isn't. I've got two left. Um, I'm gonna leave my fa- my, my. I'm gonna leave this one for last. But uh, Moaka, or Shining Finger, as her nickname, or M4. <sighs> Never liked her. Never really liked her. She's just like that episode. When she's like, give me back my phone, it's such banging on the fucking door. I'm like, just, Jesus Christ, calm down, love. It's just a phone. FB doesn't give a flying fuck about you, okay? Like, just calm down with the phone, okay? Like, she just, like, she starts like, give me back my phone. And I just kept, like, in- like just kept intimidating her. Like, in- sorry, um, mocking her and, like, saying, give me back my phone. It's just like, shut the fuck up, woman. Just, it's a phone. Like, she kept banging on the door, and it was just so annoying. And obviously, she's weird, like taking pictures from a distance, like of Okabe. Like that's the first time they met, which is weird. Like I just don't like her character. She's too quiet. She's too, you know. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if this is like everyone's least favorite character. Like obviously, she's she's obviously like she kind of shows off as like her an antagonist, obviously taking pictures of him, and then obviously. It, obviously, finding out that she actually works for CERN, uh, she's obviously the head of the soldiers. Obviously, when they invade uh, Okabe's apartment, and obviously she shoots Mayuri. <sighs> yeah, I hate that, 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 that. For that, she's my least favourite. She's my least favourite. I don't care. At the end, she gets shot and says, Oh, please forgive me. Please forgive me, Okabe. Just shut up, bitch. <laughs> It's like, bitch, get your ass down. I'm sorry, that's a bit much, but like, yeah, the, uh, Moaka, I can't, I can't, I can't forgive her for that. She killed Mayuri. I will not forgive her for that. I don't care. I, well, I shouldn't say I don't care. It's just, I, I can't forgive her for killing Mayuri. It's just like, uh, it's just like, like when, when, <laughs> when I first saw she shot Mayuri, I was just like, like, no! Mayuri! Mayuri! <laughs> um, yeah, um, don't like my, my overall, I don't like my, my Echo at all, like, she's just, oh. Um, next up, final one, final main character, <sighs> Suzu Hashida, or Suzuha Omain, if I pronounced her last name right. <sighs> I love Suzuha, or Suzu, like, she's, she's so free-spirited, she's so cool, she's badass, fighting those goons when they obviously invaded uh, Okabe's 
um, apartment. She came in and whooped their asses. Most of them obviously got the gun and pointed it at Moeka. That was so sick. She's just so cool. Hot, obviously. Like, obviously, that's not the main reason. Obviously, I've just pointed out the reasons why I also liked her, other than the fact that she's hot. She's just, she's just badass. She's badass. She's free spirited. I love I love her personality. I just love. I just, I just, I just love her, alright, I just fucking love her, like, you'll see her in my ranking up high, very high, so, I'm gonna, I'm gonna head off to the rankings now, um, sorry if I went all over the place with, obviously, the overview of the characters, uh, that's just how I go about doing it, and if you don't like that, then, fuck you, I'm joking, <laughs> like, obviously, as I've said at the start, I'm not the best with, going fully in depth with characters and their story and that, so this this is how I'm recording it, okay? This is how I'm doing it, okay? So yeah, with that said, let's move on to section five. Rank the main characters. Or the or <laughs> basically all the ones that I've just mentioned um and discussed. Um number eight, no surprise, Moeka. Don't like her whatsoever. After Mayuri, I was just like, fuck. You bitch, okay? You can die in a fight. Alright, that's just a bit much, but I mean, come on, like, how can you not, how can you, uh, like, I, just, I mean, yeah, at the end, with her being like, how sweet of you and that, like, with Okabe, like, obviously she ends up being the part-time assistant, obviously after Suzaha being, obviously her being, obviously, um, John Teeter, and obviously being the time traveller from 2036, obviously time travelling, obviously now now her time machine uh, is does now go back and forth, because previously it only could go back. Uh, but also, it only had like one trip of fuel after obviously Carissi's death. Uh, they only had one trip back to go save Carissi, so that's why she obviously wasn't there in the end, so... Uh, Moaka ended up being the part-time assistant to, uh, Mr. Bran. Um, I just don't like Moaka. I just really don't like her. So that's why she's in eighth place at the bottom, very bottom. Uh, next place, seventh place is Ferris. Or Faris. Um, I, I don't hate her. Alright, so eight is the one I don't like. Up from seven. Um, alright, so eight... Don't like Moeka, obviously. Seven to four that I think are good. I like them. Uh, it's three to one that I just fucking love. They're my favourites. So seven Ferris, as I already mentioned. Um, she's okay. She, obviously, I've mentioned earlier that she's a little bit irritating at times, but obviously, after some development, I start to like her a bit. Um, I knew she wasn't going to be my least favourite character because I always knew that Moeka was my least favourite even when we first met Moeka because she's just weird. Uh, Ferris, I knew she was going to be like mid, maybe a little bit lower on the list, but Ferris is just a bit... She's just a bit, yeah. Like, I like her sometimes. She, she can be cool, but... Yeah. But obviously you feel bad with her, her and her dad. And her story, her character arc, it's just, I don't know, she's just kind of a mid-character for me. Uh, next, maybe controversial, uh, Daru, or Itaru Hashida. Um, now, he's not in it, he's not in it that much. I thought, from the start, I thought he was just going to be like, in, I mean, he was in every episode, but, like, obviously he's not, like, there every single time. He's obviously there, like, every now and then. Um... I think he's a good character still, like, as I've said, like, from 7 to 4, these are characters are like. Now, just because they're, like, near the bottom doesn't mean I hate them or anything, obviously. Like, I, I like them. I just had to put them in a list that I like them for, so. Yeah, uh, Itaru, Daru, however you want to name him, Hack, Hacker. Um, yeah, he's at number 6. I think he's fine. I like him. I like Daru. He's cool. Um, he can be, obviously over the top at sometimes with his pervy jokes, but, uh, I like, I like what he did, obviously, with the time machine, he fixed it in time for Suzu Hut or Suzu, uh, I love their, obviously, their relationship, obviously, their father-daughter relationship, I liked how they, obviously, 
found out that they were obviously related. I thought that was cool. Um, I definitely think they they both have they both they both definitely have their own traits. They they I I I, I definitely can agree that they are related. Which well, doesn't make sense. I mean, I I I can totally see that they are related because they have. Obviously, Suza Hart, I guess, can take a dirty joke. Um, and also, she has that kind of really cool. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. But yeah, I can totally see that Daru and Suza Hart, or Suzu, are related. Anyway, uh, moving on to number five Ruka. Ruka Ko. Another maybe controversial opinion. Um, I do like Ruka, obviously. Um, I don't really know what I should say with, the, with each of these rankings. I've kind of already described the characters, if I like them or not, and what I think about them. So, yeah, Lu- Ruka, Luca, uh, not Luca. <laughs> it's, it says it's Luca, but it's not. It's Ruka, Ruka Ko. That's how I'm pronouncing uh, him, sorry. Um, I like Ruka, Ruka Ko. I think, I think it's cool. Um, I don't mind the fact that he, he's sensitive. Um, and quiet. I think I, I I definitely have those. I have a part of me that's quiet and sensitive, as I've already said. Um, I I I'd, I'd, I'd go out with Ruka. I'm going to be honest with you. I I I think I think out of everyone on this list, I would probably get along with Ruka, Ruka uh, the most. In in terms of dating and in a relationship, I think Ruka, or or someone I will actually get to you in a second, but it's either Ruka or this other person, which I will mention, that's higher on the list, that I would say I would probably end up dating. I know I'm just going overboard, but... Um, so yeah, number five, Ruka. Number four, Karisu Makise. Um, now, she's on the top of my good list. Oh, sorry, the top of my like list. Like... I like like her. I've already mentioned this already, but obviously I like her. Like she's she is tough. Obviously she's a tough character. She's. I'm missing a word. I don't know the word, but. That they're, they're they're. There's a word that I'm missing from her. She's tough. She can be full of herself. Obviously she can get annoyed that. Okabe can be right sometimes, as well, and vice versa. Obviously, uh, Okabe can get annoyed that obviously, um, obviously, Karisu is the smartest character out of them all. I mean, that that's that's not really arguable, is it? Like that. Obviously, Karisu is the smartest character in the series. Uh, well, I think so anyway. Um, with all the stuff that she does on the whiteboards and stuff, saying that oh, I've tried to figure this out. I, I. I've tried to try to work out if there was any other way of obviously saving me or Myri both at the same time, but we couldn't. Like you know, it's just she 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 does everything she can. She believes in Okabe, but obviously sometimes he pushes her away and ends up like being a dick. Obviously saying saying, of course I would let my assistant do this and that. And like it's just <laughs> like I mean she's trying to be nice and you're just turning out to be a dick, Okabe. Like just just be nice. Like I'm sure that Karisu and Okabe can get along as long as Okabe doesn't be a dick and be all like, oh if it isn't my assistant or zombie. Like it's just like shut up, Okabe. Just get along with her, please. Um yeah, uh, Karisu is on the top of my like list. I like I like Karisu. Um after after the second watch of the series She's at the top of my like list. So, top three. My love, my, the ones that I really like. Number three, Okabe, or Okarine. <laughs> um, or Hain Kiyoma. Um, I like that, he, he, as I've already said, he is, he has the biggest character development out of all the characters. Like, but with that, said, like honestly, he is he has the biggest character development out of everyone in the series. I mean, no one can argue with that. Like it's just it's it's like from being a mad scientist, from being crap, losing my words. Look, I've already explained about Okabe. He's my third favorite. I like Okabe. 
Sorry, I love Rukabe, I should say. I love, I love, I love Rukabe, he's so cool. Um, yeah, Rukabe is just... He's very cool. I just think... I just wish... I mean... Seeing his character development over the episodes is good. Obviously, he still drags his... His mad scientist side of him, obviously, along. Like, obviously, it wouldn't be Okabe without his mad scientist um, trait. Um, it's good that he's developed. I love what they did for him. And yeah, Okabe is at number three. Second place. Now we've got top two. We have... We have Mayuri and Suzuha, or Suzu. My second place, Mayuri. Mayuri is awesome. I, I, she's, I've already said that she is the heart and soul of the series. Like she, I should have, I should have just described, I should have done the ranking as well as describing the characters because I've already mentioned myself like twice in a row now. Like it's just like, oh, Mayuri is just. She's just everything to the series, man. Like, she's... She always tries to be happy. She she never wants anyone to get into a fight or an argument. I mean, that's the same thing, isn't it? Like, obviously, a mental argument. I mean, there's never really been a physical fight, obviously, but... She hates negativity. And when she's sad, she hates it, obviously. Like, with her, her granny, she always wants to try to be positive. Like, when she talks, she obviously makes... She obviously tries to obviously, you know, talk to her when... Her granny is obviously up and up there in the sky. Not literally in the sky, but she she talks as though she's up in heaven, obviously. And saying, "Sorry, I'm going into the negative ne- negativity stuff now, huh? Like I'll, I want to try and be positive now." Um, obviously, she explains of what's happening during the series. It's just <sighs> she really is the heart and soul of the series. Like I know I've said this like millions of times now, but she is like she's she's. She's the most positive character in the series. And that's why she's my second place. But my number one, of course, Suzu, Suzu Hashida, Suzu Hata Main. She's just she's 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 my bae. She's my bae. I love her. She's just so cool, badass, hot. <laughs> that's not the that's not the number one the number the the number one reason. Obviously, because she's badass. She's cool, she's free-spirited, like, she's just so freaking cool, okay? Like, yeah, like, I don't really ha- know what else to say about Suzu, uh, other than the fact that she's badass. She's cool. She's hot. <laughs> you know, like... I'm running, I'm running out of breath now. How long has this been going on for? 42 minutes? That's no way it's not been 42 minutes. Anyway, I need to get to number six. Overall thoughts. Uh, I really like the series. Um, I'm going to rate this at four stars. Eight out of ten. Really liked it overall. Obviously, it's just the time traveling side of it. It's just, uh, um, yeah, um, I've, I've got to go because it's like 40 minutes. I'm probably going to crop it down to quite a bit, but, um, yeah. Should you watch it? If you're into anime, number one, that's like the main thing. If you like anime, watch it. And even if you're not, if this is this this may be an anime, I think this is an anime series that you should first get into, even if you haven't watched any anime. Um, if you like sci-fi films or TV shows, watch it. If you like time traveling stuff uh, specifically, watch it. It's good. Characters are great. Have great character development. The story is good. Yeah. Everything on that is good. Four stars, eight out of ten. Great show. Thank you, Rusty, for suggesting me the series and offering me your uh, box set for me to watch. Uh, I can't wait to see what other th- other anime uh, you're going to be uh, giving me if you allow me to <laughs> allow me to get it. Because this is still in good condition, by the way. This isn't destroyed. It's still. As the way that you've given it to me. Um, yeah. So yeah, thank you, Rusty. Uh, this is actually coming out on his birthday. Um, I want to surprise him, give him a gift to me, to him. Because uh, he's been waiting for this review for ages. And yeah, this 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 review is mostly for Rusty. Um, Rusty, I hope you enjoyed this review. 
and I hope you can respect the fact that I obviously am not very scripted with my reviews and I don't go in full depth with the story or too much into the characters. That's just me, okay? I hope you enjoyed this review, uh, likewise to everyone else. Um, I'm going to head off now because it's it's like it's like three quarters of an hour. I've been talking for two, three quarters of an hour, so I need to go. Um, once again, thank you, Rusty, for suggesting the series. I love you, man. Um, happy birthday for when you watch this. Um, I hope you watch this. I don't know when I'm going to actually premiere this, but uh, whenever you're watching this, it's out. So, yeah. Um, thank you, Rusty. Um, thank you, everyone, for watching. And I hope you... I hope I've convinced you all enough to watch the series. Uh, apologies if I've been ranting for... Uh, if I've been ranting for too long, which I have, <laughs> clearly. Uh, and yeah, I'm going to see you guys in the next video. I'm not sure what it's going to be, but, um, yeah. Um, until further notice, I'll see you all, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.